I got a lot of comments saying that checkers are too strong in my variant chess versus checkers, so I decided to prove them wrong. I played a couple of games with Toby, who is a top 4 circular chess player in the community. Now, I'm definitely not as good as him at chess, but if checkers are nearly as overpowered as people think they are, I should have no problem beating him. But before I get into the games, I want to give my theory on why people think that checkers are so strong. Since the chess pieces can't move to the outside squares, I can see why people would think that the checkers can all just hide along the edges while being completely invincible. But I think this misconception boils down to two concepts that aren't immediately obvious. First, these squares are only available for captures. Even though I've made this rule pretty clear in previous videos, I don't think I've done a good job at explaining the point of the rule, and why it's such a rare thing to have happen. Checkers aren't very good at forcing captures, so the chess player would basically have to leave a piece sitting on the edge with the checker attacking it in order to allow a checker to move to the edge. The main point of the rule is to give the checkers a buffer to prevent the chess pieces from taking advantage of their inability to capture edge pieces. And second, the checkers can't really hide on the edges. It isn't a viable strategy at least. Edge checkers can't defend each other, and they will eventually be forced to move, since you must make a move on every turn. The chess player can just shuffle pieces around until you're forced to make a bad move. But theories and explanations can only do so much, so let me show you the games that I played. I think something that I want to do is keep these pawns on the diagonals of the king. That way, I don't think I can lose until I start losing all my pieces. So I'm going to push this pawn first. I think I'll just play some waiting moves. Move another pawn. It is also kind of dangerous. I'm prone to some kind of double jump stuff so maybe it's not best if i can keep my pieces like on diagonals like pushing this pawn even though of course i don't want to push this pawn so maybe the knight because if i can keep pieces in pairs then i can't get jumped let's go for maybe like a, a fianchetto i guess i have to wait for i can only really take checkers if they're alone and not defended because even even sacrificing a pawn for a checker isn't ideal but the big advantage is i can set up however I want, knowing that I won't just miss a bishop or something. Move another knight, I guess. So like this pyramid setup, I think is the way to go. And I should be looking for, because captures are forced, so I should be looking for moves. This wouldn't work, but something that could like win me multiple checkers, like forcing something to stop defending another checker. This diagonal looks tempting. Let's go for that. But again, so this actually, this diagonal could be it has potential. If I can... So that wouldn't be great. But that would force the checker out. Then what could I do? So if I force this checker out... Actually, no, that wouldn't work at all. Something too. Here, let's try this, maybe. So if I can get a piece on this square, maybe this knight, it can't get captured. And then this checker can fall. Can't take here, can't take here. Right? And then... Okay, so I think he saw that. So that won't work. That's interesting, though. So if you can get like a knight in this middle then the checker can't take because they're blocked by another one of their own checkers. I'm kind of not doing great on time, though, so I have to be careful about that. Let's play this waiting move, I guess. So that move, it still wouldn't be blundering, but now that wouldn't work. Okay, now this might, if I bring this back, oh, it still wouldn't work. Let's try maybe this. Now if I swing, oh, what was this whole plan? Blocking with the knight, that wouldn't, oh, wait, if I can get the knight here, that checker hangs, but it, he'd probably see that and move. So here, here, he can easily defend attacks this now this still it no longer works so he saw right through that i don't really have anywhere to go now if i push here he can defend but that threatens a checker at the very least and after takes takes i get two checkers for a bishop i don't think that's worth it this would force a capture maybe i want that trade i don't know again i want to keep pieces here if possible but then again i can do that with other pieces too and i'm kind of not doing great on time. That's a free, so that would end up being, then what does he have? That attacks, but this pawn's fine. Oh, okay, I see, if I take, then I lose that. That's two, which I was gonna go for anyways. Are the knights that strong? Oh, but that, if I move it, then it's gone anyways, so I have to do that. Okay, that's just attacks the checker. Let's try that. Giving up this defense now. Takes, takes, that, and I can do this to threaten again. Oh, but it jumps. Let's force a jump too, so that, okay, that's, that's a pawn for two checkers. Which way? Okay. So he goes that way. Let's go. F I have to think quick. Let's do the knight. Now, castling. They are here to push. Can't take that pawn, but this would... So this pawn could push up. Checker moves out of the way. And if I move up, I can't capture because this would be a double jump. Triple jump, actually. And promotion, but it wouldn't really matter. Um, But I can push this pawn. And that's the same problem. Two minutes. Let's just play a waiting move. The more I can get these kind of going, these diagonal pairs, the better. I can kind of force him to get into my position. I have to make this happen kind of fast. Okay, so this pawn push is safe. I don't know if I like it, though, because it kind of locks these pieces down. So 
I can't capture. However, if I move out of the way more than this one square, okay, so this attacks this. Okay, I can re-attack. He can defend, and after it captures, yeah, yeah, so captures, and then this isn't a double jump yet, so that's good. But if he defends here, then captures is a double jump. So if I can go maybe here, no, but pushes, captures. He defends with this one. I didn't really think about that. So if I, let's try this, and we're running kind of low on time. So the idea being this move, and then he can defend. Does that work? I don't have enough time to think. So he defends here. Well, then captures, and that's fine. Then he can't even... I always have to pre-move this. Or not pre-move, but I, I won't have time, time to really think about it. So if he defends with either of these, I think I'm just taking. Actually, no, yeah, no, he can't. He can't trap my queen. So I think this just wins. So yeah, I think this just wins the at least one checker. He moves this? What does this do? So idea here is takes then what does he have yeah okay that works too if it takes then jump it's just a single jump though i think right i could even take with the queen does that is that good no that's a double jump though so i have to take with pawn which is fine now he has to take here and i ah oh, that still gives up a double jump so i can't do that i have to deal with this pesky pawn here i have 41 seconds to do something i can just move the knight though i guess yeah, let's do that. Now this pawn hangs, and I can take this. Actually, that's pretty good. So he tries to defend. Knight, knight just takes. Okay, now he's aware of that. I'll just take. This idea might be this, but then, no, that blocks. So I can get this knight in almost safely. So I, that wouldn't quite be safe, actually. He's, he has very few back rank pawns, so I can start looking at that, maybe. Oh, this almost works. I need to think fast. Uh, waiting move. Maybe bring a second rook in here, and then if I can somehow route the knight... I'll probably get attacked first. Let's just try it. If he attacks, I have to retreat. But let's see. So here, 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 here. That doesn't work. Let's just double up the rooks, I guess. Him being forced to make moves is helping me. Now he kind of has to move forward. He does. I'll have to retreat. I could have blocked. Let's try that now. Pause on enter attack. So if he goes here or here, my attack is kind of dead. Retreat. I can push this pawn. Unless he goes here, maybe. Then double jump. Push it. Now I should be trying to get into his back rank. Ah, no. He's gonna find it. That loses so much. That's such a... Oh, no. Oh, no. This is so much. Ah, uh, that's... That's losing a queen. I... Ah! Uh, I'll resign. Or just let time run out. Okay, that's tough. All right, now I'm gonna see if I can win with the checkers. I have no idea what kind of strategy would work here. So, I know I wanna preserve my back rank as much as possible and generally i think keeping diagonal pairs is a good idea for sure just like it was in like on the chess side because then if a piece takes you can jump and potentially get double jumps if i can route this guy here maybe and jump i need to play a lot faster this game so if he goes ah then he defends that square but then i can i can't get both up there at the same time yeah i don't think that's gonna work let's go here I already lost a minute so that'll at least pin his pawn to his knight so maybe we should go for this or maybe since pieces let's get our pieces kind of grouped together like a nice blob and like one side of the board maybe that'll work so okay this idea maybe they go there but i don't want to let him do that if i get here though he can just push his pawn now and i think i just no that doesn't lose so now i think i want to go here what does he get oh that blunder oh i misclicked Oh, but he didn't... He, I think he could have just taken. Now he... Oh, I can't defend it. Um, what would I rather lose? I can counterattack. So that is putting his king in check, basically. He can simply do either of those moves. Glad he didn't see this blunder. Well, it was a misclick, but horrible blunder. Okay, so he moves it out of the way. Ah, I can't defend. Oh, and I'm forced to... Oh, the pawn. Okay. After captures, is that... Oh, he's not forced to capture. If he was, that would have been checkmate. Okay, so this pawn's gonna fall for free. So I can do this, and then again, the pawn would be pinned, but the knight wouldn't be. Maybe. Let's try that. Okay, interesting. What's he going for here? Do I have any hanging? I don't think I have any hanging pieces. So here, my own checker will be blocking. So maybe it's smart for him to keep that there. But then again, I don't know. Actually, if I... Okay, so if I go here, and he, if he doesn't take the pawn, then I can... Um, Okay, so he does take. So I could have put his king in a check or whatever, and then he would have been forced to take something. Then I could have taken the knight, but that won't work. So here, maybe? Because the, the pawn's blocked now. Let's try this. Okay, he just moves out of the way. Now I have to defend. 
but this pawn's locked down, so I think I'm winning it. His, no, uh, everything's defended, so his bishop can never take this. Now he's, he's not attacking anything, I don't think, but, oh, but if I put, if I go here, then his bishop comes in, so that's not ideal. But if I go with this, yeah, so if I go here, then even if he takes, I can take back, but then he gets a checker back. I think that's fine. You get a pawn out of it. He takes back with the knight. So if he goes here, I think I have to defend here now. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, but I, I can double attack. And if he takes... Oh, and that puts the king in the check. So he kind of has to take, but that's a double. So he can... Or he can block and then... Okay. Interesting. He moves it out of the way. So I win the knight. But the rook takes now. Okay. So what do I want to do here? Or I can stop him from attacking. Yeah, I like that move. Let's do that. Again, he can't take these checkers. So it's probably best just to leave them here. So... Maybe here, 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 then I can start an attack. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, it's actually not. So I have to move this checker first, because as soon as I move this one, this wouldn't be defended. Okay, this guy is getting attacked now. I can't defend it, so he's going to be gone on the next move. And I don't have any dark square checkers that are, like, even able to attack anything. So let's just give that up. Then this guy first. Oh, but that blunders. That's not good. Then I can at least attack. Yeah, he can't capture anything. I don't think. So now, what was I doing? So I have to defend this guy, and then I can do this again. That's also I can push here. I don't know if that's even going to work, though. I have to go here, maybe, put some more defense on it. Okay, now, this move, then... So that's, that would be two checkers for a pawn. I probably don't want to do that at this point. Usually that would be great, I think. But, oh, actually, he can take with rook, and I can't take back. So that wouldn't be good. So let's just keep trying to attack. What was the next... So this move... Then this move, I'd have to go here to get this here and kind of block. Okay, so he just pushes this pawn. So that still kind of works. So I think it's kind of obvious what I'm going for. So maybe that in itself isn't going to work. Um, so if I go here, then this just loses. So I think I have to go here first. Well, if I go here, then I can at least move up. So that would have been fine. I have to tear at these dark squares. Okay, he moves his bishop. Again, so this plan requires what? Here, and then I don't know if this works at all. Okay, let's just move this for now. Okay, so now he can tr force a trade. If we go here though, I like this. So he can't take because if it takes an instead of being here, I can be here. So that's at least that'd be two pawns for two checkers, which I think he's okay with. So that might happen. Then he takes, and maybe I can go here. But this would leave this undefended. So maybe so here, here, that wouldn't work. Do this this now, so we can take with the knight. I can attack this, though. Then what? That gives up my attack on the dark squares, but I think it's fine. That still works. Okay, so he gets this block now. What now? So that wouldn't work. This wouldn't work. If I have to go here, let's try that. So I'm still defended. But now I can't move this guy up at all, because the knight would just take, and I have no way to defend it. Interesting. So if I... I can't attack anything, unfortunately, but that could be a discovered attack. What is he? Nothing's undefended. So I can't get anything out of this, unfortunately, but maybe I can later if he allows me. Oh, I can block and now I can move this. But if I move this and then, then this is hanging. This move though would force him probably to push this pawn. Oh no. Okay. So I prefer this move. He can just move out of the way though. And because of this, uh, he still has the free square. And then from there, you can get to there. He chooses this one. So now he's actually stuck. This pawn, ah, uh, shoot. He can take this guy pretty much no matter what I do. I can go here, then takes. I think I have to do that. So if he goes here, I at least get that. Then if I attack. Okay, so now I, oh, I have this capture. Okay. And then he can take back with knight. So that didn't work. Oh, but still, okay, he can still take that. I can attack it, and then what does he have? Ah, oh, this guy, so I have to move. Oh, I'm so screwed. So if I move here, then this falls. Wow, nothing's working. I can just move it, I guess. Yeah, he can't take it if I move it. Oh, that's hanging. Okay, now this doesn't work. Neither does this. Oh, no. Okay, let's attack the knight. Let's attack this. 30 seconds. Just takes, um... Here, maybe? Oh, that's blundered. Yeah. Um, he has my back rank, I think. Game's basically over. Uh, hmm. Last try. Get here, here. Then, yeah, that's... Can't do anything about that. Now, this, maybe? And then if he pushes, I can take. But again, I don't have enough checkers to be trading. But it's fine. I know I'm gonna lose, but I just wanna... <laughs> 
make it a good game. Oh, shoot. Okay. Wow. Good move. He's too good. I should move the other one. That's... Yeah. It's over. Maybe a quick promotion? You never know. It's not going to work, but hey. Okay. We have one second left. Maybe we can <laughs> at least promote. He can't defend the promotion. I get a king. Let's go. It's game. Well, it's not game. Now it is. Okay. So even though I timed out in both games, I think I proved that checkers aren't overpowered. In fact, Toby thinks that the chess pieces have a major advantage, and I think he's probably right. Even though they can't use the edges and are outnumbered almost 2 to 1, their movement options, ability to shuffle around, and perhaps most importantly, their ability to move backwards still gives them a big advantage with this setup. I'll have to do more testing, but I'm sure I can just keep adding more checkers until the game is balanced. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're one of the now 20,000 people subscribed, thank you very much. If not, consider hitting the subscribe button. It would really help me out on my journey to push chess to its absolute limits. Likes and comments are also greatly appreciated, and I look forward to hearing what you think about the variant. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next video.